guys, it's not happening. It is not happening. The captain of the Arizona Coyotes is remaining the captain of the Arizona Coyotes. Elliot Friedman tweeted out that there is no Oliver Ekman Larson trade by his own personal deadline, which was 12 p.m. EST today, Friday, October 9th. The agent, Kevin Epps, says that he is staying with the Coyotes, and this comes as a major shock. It's a bamboozle. It's all of the teasing in the world by Vancouver Media just for this to not get done. We've spoken at length in several videos talking about Ekman Larson and the Vancouver Canucks, whether or not there was a deal in place, we knew there was interest there, Ekman Larson wasn't willing to open up his potential tradable teams list beyond Boston and Vancouver, and we know that Vancouver was really trying hard to get Ekman Larson over here. But they were asking for Demko, they were asking for Pod Coles, and they were asking for Niels Hoaglander. They were asking for some pretty notable names in the Canucks prospect pool, and of course, Thatcher Demko himself as well. We had word yesterday from a good buddy of mine, Chris Faber, who was asking around the phones and getting some sources. Arizona wanted Hoglander, Pod Coles, and Demko, but they may have had to settle for Lind. Because the big guys, Hoglander, Pud Coles, and Demko, they were no-goes. Sutter, Vertanen, their names were floated around in there too. And eventually, it just didn't end up happening. It was confirmed by the agent, we're done, guys. We are done. But now this opens up an entirely new can of worms. Because now the Canucks are in a position where they don't really foresee them taking on any form of that $8.25 million cap hit until... Say it with me now, 2027, for seven more years. And now, they're in a position where, hey, you guys don't have to do that anymore, so what's gonna happen with everybody else, huh? Tanev, Stetcher, Markstrom, Toffoli? You guys got some extra available foreseeable cap space to use, so who are you going to use it on? We will update this as the story goes on throughout the day, but for the Vancouver Canucks, who now have allowed Stetcher, Tanev, Markstrom, Toffoli, and now Fantenberg going over to free agency, this is... Oh, man, it's just, you know, it's... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's rough. We'll, we'll say that. Take a look at this tweet over here. Oscar Fantenberg, Stature Tanev, they hit the market at 9 a.m. The Canucks might be in on Luke Shen. So, hey, even if they don't get one defenseman like Oliver ekman Larson, they could get Luke Shen, the guy who mentored Quinn Hughes and who was very... Honestly, not bad with the Vancouver Canucks. I always had a deep, admirable respect for Luke Shen and how he was actually able to go over to the Tampa Bay Lightning. He accepted a cheaper deal because he wanted to play for a cup contender and then he eventually got that cup. So he's got absolutely nothing to lose now. But there are indeed a few other stories here with the Vancouver Canucks. Grice and Hudobin high on the Canucks list for Markstrom's replacement if he leaves most likely two-year deals. Oh my goodness, Thomas Grice and Hudobin, man. Those guys would be... Quite notable in Vancouver. We spoke about Hudobin yesterday. Grice is the other one that I just straight up forgot to cover. Sorry about that. But there are indeed a few other options here for the Vancouver Canucks on the goaltending side of things. Should any of these guys leave? If Markstrom leaves, if Tanev leaves, Shen might come back in. Who knows? But for OEL, is no go. Talk to me in the comments what you think about this whole idea here. Oliver Ekman Larson staying in Arizona. Hope you enjoyed this video of the Shrosh Lion 9. And bye.